You guys thought I was kidding? Well, guess what? I wasn't. Welcome to the wheel party. Would you like some protein with that? I didn't put my primal MT on the Atkins dime. Yeah. There's no slop. What's up, guys? Welcome back. This is part three of my Primal RC MT unboxing. I still have to open this second box. It says PR, which is Primal Monster Truck, box two of two. That's right, I took all of this out of box one, not including my Baja right here. Which, by the way, in case if you were wondering if a Primal MT tire fits a Baja, well, here's an image for you. They do use 24 millimeter hubs, it just basically looks crazy. I'm going to be going over this really well written instruction manual. To me, this is one of the most important things. The truck chassis itself and the RC overall, as I've already unboxed it and went over it, is exactly how I personally would want a truck to be built. I think what I'm trying to say is this is not a, you know, let's cut corners, big box type of an RC truck. Can you put a beverage into the rim of your wheel? Yes, you can actually do that. I mean, who else can do that? Nobody. But the Primal MT can. All jokes aside though, this thing has everything you would want it to have. It has the best brakes, it has very good electronics, it has a remote engine kill switch already wired to the factory remote, it has reverse, guys. This is basically everything you would ever have on a bucket list for a gas monster truck. I mean, no one else has come up with this so far. In my opinion, this is what I would call the anti-big box store RC. This is a custom truck. Now, yes, it comes basically ready to run. You only have to assemble the axles and the suspension components and drive shafts, which is no big deal to me. Before I open up this box, let me just say that the instructions for this model are impeccable. Now, just like Doug DeMuro reads the owner's manual of every car, I also read the instruction manual to this Primal MT. I already have my pages referenced in the manual, so we got nothing to worry about. I'm gonna keep you guys on track. If you wanna cite this for your book report, go right ahead. Here we go, box two. The aluminum party is about to start. Really well packaged, nothing broken at all inside here that I could tell. I like the fact that they put the tires on top. This is really good kind of like insulation from any sort of shipping damage that could possibly happen, which here I don't see any of. Here are the axles. So this box contains the front axle and the rear axle. The axles are modular, very important because they are interchangeable. In case you ever wanna do a uh, conversion, you have no issues getting parts, oh man. We got the front axle, guys. Check this out. Welcome to the axle party. We have some uh, cables here. This is for the brake setup. This box also has your brake setup. It has front and rear disc brakes with calipers. This is a really beefy disc brake. I know when I drove it over at the Primal RC headquarters, the brakes were phenomenal. Honestly, guys, I was completely astounded at the stopping power on this thing, it was incredible. This is some hardware to mount the brake linkage set. We're gonna do this later in a later part of this series. The drive shafts, guys. These are some heavy duty drive shafts. I'm gonna open it up actually. Curious myself, oh my God. I mean, if your Baja is being bad, you might wanna throw some of these on there, right? Let's open up the rear axle. This is what's in the box. We have our shocks. Check out these shocks, oh my God. As I push them up and down, they are really soft and smooth. They are already pre-filled. You don't have to do anything to these. We have our linkages. This is gonna be used to mount some of our suspension components later on. The other two shocks. This truck, in case you're wondering, does have a dual shock setup upgrade available. There are two mounting positions for your shocks. You could also install an optional four wheel steering kit that is available currently for this truck. We have some gearing sets. These are included, some really heavy duty metal gears. Absolutely really, really nice. I like this touch. There's really nothing plastic as I said on this truck. More on this later, there are different gear ratios that you can use on this truck in case you want either top speed or maximum crawling. Right over here, this is a spacer uh, that you can install to get rid of your reverse. More on this later, there's a mention about this in the manual. This truck needs a coaster. 
Welcome to the shock party. Right here I have three of the Primal MT shocks inside the wheel that it comes with. Never before have I put shocks inside a wheel. But this is for demonstration purposes only. I just want to point out how beautiful these shocks are. I really like the fact that their logo is right here on top, Primal RC. On the back of the shock cap, these are also self-bleeding. So when you put oil inside and maybe a little bit too much, it'll just come out of this hole and the oil will always pretty much be at the optimal level inside the shock to create the best dampening possible. Notice these other shocks right over here. For some of you Nitro RC enthusiasts, you might know what these are. These are shocks from my old HPI Nitro Savage. Now these used to be some of the best, largest, longest shocks in the industry, but look at them up against the Primal MT shocks. It is not even a fair comparison. This is the front axle. It is a giant beefy unit. There is almost absolutely no plastic on here that I can find other than the casing of the servo on the top and bottom. I mean, if you're thinking about, well, are you gonna have slop here? You need to upgrade anything? Guys, there's no slop absolutely zero slop this is as metal as you could possibly get i don't even know what something like this cost to engineer or design but this is insane this is definitely a game changer for any gas rc these servos are both 70 kilograms that means you have 140 kilograms just for your steering alone now in comparison the basic hpi bajas used to come with about a 15 kilogram steering servo now in today's modern times they come with a 40. this is more than triple the steering power compared to a basic fit scale baja now let's see how much this axle weighs it is locked in this axle is almost 12 pounds pretty good i like that honestly because this means that 12 of you know, the 80 pounds on this truck are as low as possible to the ground. Once again, when you're designing something like this, weight is a massive factor. These tires are only five pounds. So you have 20 pounds on the floor in tires. This is probably gonna be about nine pounds because it's missing the steering components. These axles are fully modular. What that means is the front axle and the rear axle are basically identical. The only reason the front axle is bulkier and looks bigger is because it has the steering components already attached to it. These are two 70 kilogram steering servos. That means you have a total of 140 kilograms of steering power here. I'm not aware of any ready to run truck that has this much steering torque. Just to put it in comparison for you guys, the original HPI Baja when it came out, it had I think about a 15 kilogram steering servo. The modern Rovins, which are fantastic RCs, you know I love those, uh, they have about a 40 kilogram steering servo. This is 140, it's not even a comparison. This is like a factor of a couple times more steering power than you would get with any other fit scale RC. See. These huge axles are taking up the entire couch and not letting me sit down. I have attached the slider axles to the drive shaft. I just want to point out one of the most unique features I've noticed here, and I haven't really seen this anywhere else. The axles front to rear, you see the front drive shaft here and the rear drive shaft there, they spin in a counter rotation type of scheme. What that does is decrease a lot of the axle twist. So right now I'm going to try to spin this one clockwise, I'm going to spin it right. You'll see the one in the back right there is going the opposite direction, right? So they're not spinning together uh, as you would expect front to rear. They're not spinning all in one direction. So they're counter rotating. This really helps to make this truck drivable and it reduces a lot of that front axle lift when you're accelerating. Now, of course, you're still gonna have some, but when you're talking about a giant monster truck like this, you expect it to have a lot. This is very, very clever. There's a whole mechanism that was developed just to make this happen. Right now, we're looking at the top of the carburetor. This thing right here is the choke. There are instructions in the owner's manual on how to remove it. Oftentimes, if you're running in very dirty, kind of sandy conditions, it's possible that you can get some dirt going past this giant air filter and into the carburetor. This is a common issue, actually happens on every single fit scale RCs. That's why some of the most high-end Wolbro carbs eliminate the choke or do a bearing upgrade. There are instructions in the manual on how to do that. I really like that Primal RC took that extra step to put that in because they know the people that are gonna buy this are gonna take this in the dirt. They don't wanna risk you damaging any of their products prematurely.
This thing has a 78 millimeter clutch compared to the typical 54 millimeter size in every other fit scale RC. What that means is you're not going to be going through clutches left and right like typical on a Baja. This is the instructional manual. I've already looked it over. It is phenomenal. I just wanted to show you guys some of the interesting things in here. First off, let me say there's almost no typos in here. If I put this into Microsoft Word, the spell check wouldn't even do anything. This is so well written. This tells you exactly step-by-step -step instruction, which I will be doing later, not in this video. This manual is extremely well written. Even the sequence of the writing is very good. First, it starts out telling you exactly how many boxes there are. There are two boxes, what contents are in the box. Very useful because this way you will obviously know if you're missing anything. They always tell you if you're missing anything, contact Primal RC, very nice. Here we have some of the instructions on how to attach the drive line itself. We're gonna do that in a future video. You have really good, useful wiring diagrams for the engine kill switch, everything we want to know of how the wiring is plugged into the receiver, how to set up the fail safe, the kill switch, everything is already programmed to this remote. It even answers a lot of these questions on which buttons here do what. So this thing uses four channels as it is shipped from the factory. All the questions you might have for the kill switch is right over here. This we're gonna go into later. Um, before you drive, it tells you, you know, to use the correct oil to fuel ratio of 25 to 1 and tells you uh, how to go through the break-in process, blah, blah, blah. Very useful information, even if you're not a beginner. I always recommend reading this kind of stuff. What I really like here are the color pictures. So we have a steering servo adjustment informational section. We have a brake adjustment informational section, how the linkages should be adjusted. Eventually, as I start assembling this and testing it, I'm gonna go in through this in more detail. For now, we're just gonna keep going. Here we have our transmission gear ratios. This is what I was telling you guys about, how they included different ratios for you to see how fast or how much power you want this to have. The installed ratio is 25 to 25 it is a good overall gear set that we recommend for common use so you can change them you can go higher or lower this piece right here is a shaft spacer now if you don't want reverse just follow the instructions on page 21 to replace the bevel gear in the diff with this shaft spacer this will give it of your reverse i mean they literally thought of everything normally you would have to buy all these parts separately this is just genius on page 22 of the owner's manual is a nice chart that tells us exactly the results we'll get in terms of speed and torque based on which of these included pinions we use. Really nice, as I said before, we have the 25 to 25 set right now. It is literally in the middle of this chart, meaning it gives us an okay amount of speed and a good amount of torque. Now, based on the conditions you run, maybe you wanna go up in speed or maybe you wanna go up in torque. That's up to you, but you have the option. They're included for free. Thanks so much for watching part three of my Primal MT video series. I am doing a thorough in-depth job on this because guys, this kind of stuff only comes out once in a lifetime. We don't even know when the next time we're gonna be able to experience something like this is gonna be. What matters most is, can I get more pull-ups with it next time? And can I get any with it at all with the wheels assembled? Also, in the next video, make sure you don't miss it. We're gonna try to run this tire on the Baja. That's right, I'm gonna do it. One of my YouTube viewers, Norm, asked me to do this. This one goes out to you, buddy. Till next time. You guys thought I was kidding? Well, guess what? I wasn't. Welcome to the wheel party. Getting ready for the big pull-ups. Don't worry, I didn't put my Primal MT on the Atkins diet. It may be on a scale, but we just want to find out how much it actually weighs for me to do pull-ups with it right now. Fully on the scale. So this overall structure is basically half of the weight of the car. If you guys know anything about weight, you would know that BMWs are called the ultimate driving machine. Not because they're fast, but just because they have really good weight distribution, generally as close as possible to 50 to 50 front to rear. This has what I call top to bottom weight distribution of pretty close of 50 to 50, nice. I'm about ready to do some pull-ups with half of the Primal MT. This is about 40 pounds. Here we go. 
Moment of truth, broken neck or pull-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Eight. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, hold it. Gotta hold it. All right. Eight. Yeah. We got eight pull-ups with this, but soon I got to do it with double the weight. I can barely keep my eyes open. I have so much sweat inside. Oh, someone wipe my eye. Wipe my eye, who's ever in front of me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs>